Omer Venkert's picture is all around his hometown of Gadara. Hamas captured the 22-year-old Omer from the Nova Music Festival, and he remains in captivity. He's a very handsome guy. He likes music. He's a restaurant manager. He likes food. He's supposed to start study about the culinary food in November, but he's still captive in Gaza. CBN News talked with Omer's father, Shai, recently at the family's home. Omer went to the Nova first with Kim Dumpty. She's a friend of him, youth friend. They went to the Nova at the morning, 5.30 a.m., before sunrise, and there was missiles around, and they went to the bomb shelter. At the bomb shelter, it's okay for missiles, but it's not okay for hand grenades that are throwing inside and for gun shooting. Some of them went outside. All the people that went outside were shooting dead. Also, unfortunately, Kim Damti, she died. She was killed. Omer left the bomb shelter and was taken captive by Hamas. I saw Omer on the video. He was on the Toyota SUV, only with underwear, handcuffed. They cursing him, they beating him, and they pointing guns on him. And he went inside Gaza Strip. And at the end of the video, there is a building. And I saw the building, I did a capture, and I tried to find it by Google Maps. And I found this area, it's next to Borej. Following the release of certain hostages in November, Shai talked with some who had been with Omer in captivity. The Thai guys, we met them at the hospital. Everyone is going to the hospital after the captivity, so we went there with a picture with Omer's photo on the picture, and immediately when we came in, they, they told me, oh yes, yes, Samuel, Samuel. He always sang the song, Eze Yom Ayali Samuel. It's a happy song, an optimistic song. They said he's uh, quite okay, mentally. Omer is, uh, has a colitis disease, and this is a chronic disease in the stomach. Shai's mother, Omer's grandmother, is a Holocaust survivor. My mother is a very strong woman, but she is very, it's very hard for her. This is the first grandson, she was waiting for him and she didn't believe that Holocaust can come again because always they told them, never again. And on the 7th of October, it was a second Holocaust, but the terrifying is it happened in Israel, in the state of Israel. So she didn't believe that she can suffer more than she suffered at the Holocaust. The most difficult thing for his grandmother is that she can't see him. She can't talk to him. At the ghetto, there were five, five years. They can move, they can walk, they can do something, but not as the captivity of the Hamas. What gives you strength? What gives you hope? I feel strength because I'm I believe that Omer is alive, I know he's alive. And I have one mission now in my life, to bring Omer back. So I have to be strong, I have two more kids, I have to be strong also for them. And we're doing interviews, we're doing meetings, we're going abroad, and we're doing a lot of things to take Omer out and to take all the hostages out. The mission took him to the U.S., where Shai and his wife Neva visited the U.N. Security Council, and Neva visited Columbia University. We got a supportive response. Also for the U.N., there was a lot of people with the photos of the hostages in the middle of New York, next to the UN, also at the Columbia University. People need to hear the story to spread the word around. I want the world to believe how happy I'm going to be, my wife and my family, when Omer is coming back. So if all the world will believe it, it probably can be faster than we want to be. On the 7th of October, we met the enemy of the humanity. It's not enemy about only Jews, because in Colombia they are not attacking only Jews, they are attacking all civilians, they are pro-Palestinians. And we met the anger of the Hamas. This is worth thing, and the world needs to know the act Hamas did. Shai noted that Israel pulled out of Gaza in 2005, uprooting thousands as part of the disengagement, and Palestinians have been self-governed since then. 18 years, there is no soldier at the Gaza Strip. They have their own land to build the houses. They got money from Qatar, from US, from everywhere. They build the metro just to eliminate us. Israel celebrated its 76th birthday recently, and despite the war, Shai says he's confident about the future. Israel is a very strong country. We are going to come and to be together and to be stronger than now. Now we are in a terrible, difficult situation, but Israel is tough, it's strong, and we are going to get out of it. Julie Stahl, CBN News, Gadara, Israel.